this way. Whatever issue brought you here today, I guarantee if there is a decision to be made in Washington, it has been touched by money. It has been influenced by money. It has been moved and shaped and accepted by people with money. In fact, let me tell you a quick story about this. You know, you go back and look. In the early 1990s, um, we're just beginning to figure out about climate change. We don't have it all right. The science is still a little unsettled, but, but it's started, the pieces are starting to come together. And here's the amazing thing. Check the records. Democrats and Republicans in Washington are working together. Nobody wants to see a catastrophe come our way. So they're starting to ask the right questions. Do we need more regulation? What do we need to invest? They're asking the right questions. And then along come the Koch brothers. Oh, I see you've heard of the Koch brothers. The Koch brothers, some oil companies, some other big polluters. And they say basically to each other, hey, Whoa, if Congress gets serious about this climate stuff, could hurt our bottom line, could cut into our profits. I mean, after all, Koch brothers make their money in fossil fuels. That could really start to hurt. So what do they do? They could say, I know, let's stop fossil fuels, let's move over to clean energy, let's change our investment. No, they don't do that. They could say, oh, let's start investing more, let's do more R&D on carbon capture and ways to clean up the air and clean up the oil. Let's make that our new business. No, they don't do that. Now, you know what investment meant they make? They invest in politicians. They go to Washington and start spreading the money around. Oh, and one of the best places they spread it is on bought and paid for experts. People who come in and doubt about climate. Oh, I think the uh, dinosaurs loved it. And, uh, <laughs> right? What, why would you invest in a bunch of people like that, right? And, you know, these bought and paid for uh, experts, these bought and paid for think tanks. Why? To raise doubt. And what's the point of doubt? It's not like these guys don't understand the science. No, the point is to create an umbrella that all the politicians can hide under. Well, they continue to take money from the Koch brothers, from the fossil fuel industry. Here's the deal. You want to understand the crisis in the climate that we are in today? The existential crisis that our country faces and our world faces? It's 25 years of corruption in Washington that kept <laughs> our
unlocked the revolving door between Wall Street and Washington. Not just the real estate, but also the stock portfolio, the diamonds, the Rembrandt, and the... 